What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, I'm actually gonna be trying out most of the new cards from the Swingmen collection. So I'm gonna replace Lonzo Ball with Elgin Baylor. I'm going to replace um, Danny Green with Anthony Morrow, and I'm going to replace Jared Jeffries with Corey Brewer. Off the bench, I'm going to put in at the point guard, um, where is he, Evan Turner. At the two, I'm going to put in Corey Maggette. And at the three, I am going to put in Karan Butler. Then I'm going to put in LaFrance, Ben Simmons, and Tobias Harris. So we have got Evan Turner at the one off the bench who's got an insane ball control of 89. So we can definitely play at the point. We've got two other players. We've got two other good slashes off the bench with the starting five like Elgin Baylor, 92 defensive overall, 93 offensive overall, 20K. 89 driving left, 85 post fade away, 84 post hook. He's also got an 89 shot mid, 82 shot three. Has 86 ball control, which means he can speed boost. 85 driving dunk, 100 driving dunk tendency, and great speed. So we can definitely play at the one true three. Anthony Morrow, 95 shot three. Yep, 95 open shot three, 94 contested. Off dribble, only 90, only 71. Sorry, that's a bit of a problem. That's why he's not playing at the one, to be honest. Also has ball control of 86. Corey Brewer doesn't have ball control of 86. But has 100 driving and flashy dunk tendencies, 86 shot mid, 86 shot three, not the best ball control, not great rebounding, so he's not playing at the four. Also has got a 90 driving dunk, 88 speed, 83 speed with ball, and 89 acceleration. So these three cards are insane. So I'm gonna go over the hot zones of these cards quickly before the game. So Elgin Baylor, hot zone everywhere inside the three-point line. So this is like back when he was, uh, I think it was a 2K14 when he had hot zone everywhere, and his release is the exact same as it's been all through the years, so. I'll take it, this is quite nice. I'm actually hoping all these guys have the same releases they've had in previous years. Corey Brewer doesn't have any hot zones from three. Is that the same release as last year? No, it's slightly different, but um, yeah, this release doesn't seem the best to be honest. Not terrible, but doesn't seem the best. Anthony Morrow had my favorite release last year. Hot zones everywhere from three. And there it is, same release as last year. Like this was honestly my favorite release. I don't know why. Actually, no, sorry. It was my favorite release until I started using Steven Jackson. But this release is absolutely money. I cannot wait to use this card in game. Corey Maggette actually has a few hot zones from three. Oh, his release is slightly different than last year. Kind of similar, but it's slightly different. And this is actually money. This is a really easy release. I'll take it. Let's see, does he still have Vince Carter's dunk animations? I don't think so. But um, his Sapphire card is going to be a beast later in the year. Yeah, this release is nice. So this card should be all right. Ooh, that's all right. I didn't like his release at all in NBA 2K16. This doesn't seem bad at all. Well, that is a really nice release. The dunk animation's basic enough, so I'll take it. I'm not going to go over Evan Turner because I've used his goal card enough. So anyway, now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we're playing against Besiktas, who's got a good team. Probably a little bit better than mine, but um, yeah, this should be a good game. I think I'd... Well, his team probably is better statistics-wise than me, but I give myself a slight advantage here, to be honest. Yeah, I give myself a slight advantage. Okay, Elgin Baylor. Surprising enough, Elgin Baylor doesn't have the height advantage. This is like the one time he's not gonna have a major like height and post move advantage of the one is when you're playing against Penny Hardaway. Jam that. Let's go, Aaron Gordon. That's a good start. Like I'd say you literally come up against Penny Hardaway 60% of the time, at least, when you're playing uh, my team. No way, really Dominique hit that shot on me. Good defense. Right on him, right on Steve Smith. And so he's hit that shot and a crazy contested three with, uh, okay, what the hell is going on? Three, the three worst shots that have been taken in this game have all gone in. Three terrible shots have already gone in. It's only been just over a minute. Bang, let's go. Oh, come on. There we go, Aaron Gordon. We're really struggling shooting the ball. Apart from that contested shot Morrow hit, we haven't done a shot for the whole game. And they had another contested three. Like, we're down five points, and they've hit three or four contested threes. Bang. Let's go. Full white bar. There we go, Elgin Baylor for three. All right, four-point game. Like, they've hit crazy shots so there's not much we can do and they've hit a contested layup like like fair enough NBA players make that shot but like there's nothing we can do so I'm confident we're gonna come back 
Bang. Bad release. And Corey Maggetti still nails that from the corner. Let's go. Maybe once we start hitting the shots, we're well in this game. Like, still early days. It's still early. Oh, good defense. Hand in his face. Let's get that. Nope. It goes in anyway. He's hit, like, they're eight, up eight, but I'd say he's hit at least four conte really contested shots. Like, ultra contested. Pull up. Let's go, Crown Butler. Like, we're scoring well. We're playing well. Eventually, it's going to pay off. No! Karan Butler! What did you do? You were so wide open at the three-point line. Why did you... Oh, like... There's no point even questioning the 2K uh, AI anymore. It's just... It's bad. It's, let's just leave it at that. It's bad. Let's steal Evan Turner. Hit him on the run. And Karan Butler with the dunk. Let's go. Two-point game. Bang. Let's go, Vucevic. Two-point lead. Karan Butler for three. And he nails it. He has 12 points in this quarter. And his face. Like, he's taking dumb shots. As I said, I was always going to get back into this game. Five-point lead at halftime. In the last 25 seconds, they brought it to a one-point game. Nice crossover, Baylor. Into Gasol. And Gasol with the dunk. Let's go. That's a tough, tough layup. And Penny's there with the board. Of course, Penny's there with the board. Because, as I'm going to say for about the 10th time in this game, he out-rebounded Baylor because rebounding stats don't matter. Like, he's very predictable. Like, he's there's certain players that he's not going to drive with, and there's other players that he's not going to shoot with. you got to be willing to do everything with everyone. Bang. Gasol for three. And Gasol nails the three. Let's go. Anthony Morrow is honestly a great playmaker because of that 86 ball control. These cards are insane. Oh, jam that. Oh, let's go, Elgin Baylor, straight to the basket. The lag is very, very bad right now. He just called a timeout, and sometimes it still lags after timeouts. Oh, easy. Let's go. You can't leave these guys open. They can literally do everything offensively. They can all drive, and they can all dribble the ball, and all shoot. And we just left his shooter wide open for three, right? <laughs> Again. So, like, he's putting up bad, bad shots, but he's... I'd say 80% of the shots he's shooting are threes, so he's going to stay in the game, I'd say. Like, look at the percentages. 46% to 60. And now they're down. We're down. Now we're down. Great. One of you is, one of you is just, both of you just stand on the court. All you guys need to do is just not run off the court, and we had an open shot. You're six foot seven. You got to make this. Come on, Evan Turner, at least make this one, Butler. There we go, Karan Butler. Karan Butler has 15 points in this game. And they go and tie the game up. Of course they tie the game up. All right, all right, this is... I don't even know how to explain this game, but it is what it is. It's a tie going into the fourth, and as long as we don't choke, we should be, we should be all right. Pull up. So wide open. There we go. One point lead. Get there. Get there in time. Good time. Oh, bad timing. I was about a half a second, if even off. Oh, it was really close getting that block right there. That would have been huge. That block could have been a game winner. Jam that. Let's go, Elgin Baylor. Surprising enough, I'm actually going to Anthony Morrow. Pull up from mid. Let's go. Oh, damn. I know the shot went in. We've just given him probably two free points. We felt Steve Smith of all people. Oh, man. Oh, and he blew the first. Let's go. And he is the second. All right, two-point game. Oh, what happened there? Morrow for three. And Morrow hits the three. Let's go. That's probably the game right there. Bang. From deep. Oh, Anthony Morrow. Why did I shoot that? Why did I shoot that? It's made it a ball game again. And they've definitely made this layup. All right, one point game, 39 seconds to go. For the game, full white bar. And he blew it. He blew it. They've got it, haven't they? Yep, that's, that's probably the game lost. One 
Wide open. Wide open. And we blew it! How was that so far off? Like, I know it wasn't the best release, but come on! Oh, man. That was a great play right there. And we blew it. Karan Butler missed one shot. This is honestly the best cheap scorer you can get in NBA 2K18, my team. Without doubt, the best cheap score you can get. So anyway, that's the video. Surprisingly, the unsung hero of this team was Karam Butler. Like, what a release. I didn't realize the release was that good. Like, 70 points. He did he even miss from three. It was three from three. Like, really nice release. Good stats. Solid stats. Like, not incredible, but still solid. So this card is easily the best cheap score in my team I've used so far. Well, the best one and a half KMT score anyway. And I'm definitely going to keep using these cards maybe another video or two. I'm definitely going to milk whatever I can out of the Hidden Amethyst Elgin Baylor, let's be honest. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.